The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Good morning, YouTube. I want y'all to watch this. Uh, take your time, go to this link. I'm gonna put them in the bottom. There's three videos up there explaining the whole situation. And at the end of this video, that after you watch, it's got all three clips in it. One of them all the way, the other ones are too long for me to record. But you can watch all three of those videos and get this message out to people. Listen. This is Mike Mozart of Cheapers Media YouTube, and I've got a secret. It's a deep, dark secret. I'm telling you, you're going to be one of the first to find out. You know this SOPA law they're trying to pass? Stop online piracy? Well, guess what? The same people that are trying to get the law passed and to put up like a hundred million dollars in lobbying costs to get this law passed so they can control the internet are the same people that distributed the file sharing software. That's right. They're the ones that actually profited from the distribution of the software and taught people how to use it and then turned around and sued people like you for billions of dollars. They did. I'm not kidding. Just look up Joel Tenenbaum. They've sued him for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Poor college kid. They sue single moms for millions for downloading 24 songs. Like Jamie Rasser Thomas. They're going to sue you when SOPA passes. And you think, oh, I'm not in the United States. I'm fine. No, they're passing this law so they can send in the troops to arrest you and shut down um, websites in your country, too. Uh, no kidding. They're going to use this to take over the Internet and shut down sites like YouTube and Twitter and all your favorites so they can control it. So you have to watch their lame ass worthless TV shows. But you know what? I've got the secret to stopping it and you're going to help me do it, right? Now, don't disappoint me. You've got to do your part because once the lawmakers find out about this, I think they're going to stop that law. But if you're listening to those hearings, you know, it's all about online piracy, like downloading movies and TV shows and stuff like that. But who do you think, but, but come here, but come here, who do you think really caused all that piracy, huh? Was it all these kids? No. They needed the tools to do it. Who distributed those tools? Guess who? CBS Television? The Cena division of CBS had almost the exclusive distribution of things like LimeWire, Kazaa, Morpheus, BitTorrent, Azurius, Vuz. A lot of people have the mistaken belief that for years people could just download software like BitComet or Kazaa or Morpheus or LimeWire right from their own sites. But the truth is, CNET distributed these little widgets that you would click on on those sites. CNET would host the software on their own servers after they've tested it for effectiveness, after their editors approved all the copy and all the pictures, after they tested it thoroughly to make sure it worked perfectly. Then they'd allow it on their site and then give people this widget because the more downloads that appear on CNET's chart. And they wanted to be on those charts, so people say, ooh, the most popular download of the day, I want to be there. Right now you're saying, hey, a lot of other sites had that software besides CNET. Oh, yeah, they did. It was co-branded with CNET. That's right. They made deals where they would distribute their content on sites like AOL. Oh, wait, let me show you some examples. But before I go on, I have to explain something. File sharing software is perfectly legal. However, under the MGM versus Grokster U.S. Supreme Court ruling, they held that one who distributes a device, you know, the file sharing software, with the object of promoting its use to infringe copyright, as shown by clear expression or other affirmative steps taken to foster infringement, is liable for the resulting acts of infringement by third parties. This is regardless of the device's non-infringing uses. These are all the people that sent lobbyists into my office this week about all this piracy. Why the hell have they been serving this software for a decade as the exclusive distributor? So if you care about your future, you're going to distribute this video and you're going to make sure every lawmaker sees it. And I want to hear from some of those lawmakers because we got lots of evidence. We want to make sure all the lawmakers see this. Don't let it sit because tomorrow there might not be any internet left. Okay? That's their plan and we got to stop them. Don't forget, CBS Viacom is the number one supporter of SOPA and the number one distributor of piracy software and the number one promoter of it to use it for copyright infringing purposes. How is that not just totally... This is the other site here too, folks. I need to go to it as well. I'm going to go through it fast because it is a very long... It, it goes uh, real quick. You're going to have to go here uh, and look at it because by the time I'm through with it going in this fast right here and me recording it it's just it's just way too long so y'all go here 
look at all this stuff. I mean, you can stop it and look at it, but it's going to be kind of hard as fast as it's going. But uh, it explains, it gives you more links, gives you links to go to. It's a very important site to prove the information these guys are telling you. So uh, if y'all go here, you can look it up and do your own research, make your own determination, and uh, help spread the word, which is uh, extremely awesome to do and we need to do. There's a lot of things going on in this world. This one right here is one of the biggest ones yet. Uh, not the biggest, but it's one of the biggest. They take our internet away from us. Then uh, what have we got them folks? Nothing. So, uh, if they take our internet away, then what have we got? We ain't got nothing. The reason why we ain't got nothing is when we can't prove, we can't spread the truth. And all we got then is main TV, mainstream media. They give us the information which we've already proven that they will lie just about uh, uh, Ron Paul. They won't tell you the truth about him. He's winning in all the states now. So what do you think? If we didn't have the media, I mean, if we didn't have the internet, would Ron Paul be winning? No. Why? Because they'd be lying about him. We already know they'll lie on him. So, folks, we need to get this message out. We need to get this message out as quick and as fast as we possibly can. So they can't take our internet away from us. Or at least we can try. I mean, as we've seen so far, everything we try to do, they uh, take it away anyway. Like the 1867 law. Uh, you can go to my website and watch all those videos too. Don't forget about them. They're still there. Um, I'm doing this because I believe in this too. This right here is one of our legs to stand on, folks. So... We need to get it out and get the message going. And like I told you, this is very, very long. And it's almost to the end. But uh, much love to y'all. Heads up. And get this message out, folks. The links will be in the bottom in the description area. So please go and look at it, okay? Go to the video. Go to the links and put it up. Much love to y'all. Good night. When they say, I want my lawyer, you tell them, shut up. You're tired of it. Get on, boy. You're an enemy combatant.